Hi guys, welcome back to Our Warming Life. My name is Mike, and today, a uh, pretty quick little video for you. I always say that, pretty quick little video, and then it ends up being a half an hour long. Uh, this today, we're actually gonna be picking up our steers. We're gonna bring, be bringing them back over and weighing them, which you guys have seen us do quite a few times, but it is important because we have to track how much these steers are gaining uh, every single month. In fact, I think from here on out, we're actually gonna probably go to like a weekly or bi-weekly uh, regiment. Last time we weighed them was about a month ago. Was it that long ago? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really remember. Same here. I know we have uh, the A team is getting ready to go, so it's time for them to go. So yeah, it has been at least a month, um, and uh, so we need to see how they're gaining and how well B team is gaining because this is where we um, we had the B team has been on the FBN Grow Mix right completely, and the A team it hasn't been on it as long, but we want to see comparison on how everything's working and how everybody's growing. Now, we have the new AeroQuip scale. We have our, uh, well, it's the true test scale on the AeroQuip shoot. And we've been using that uh, every time that we bring everybody over and weigh, but we have been still using paper, even though we have electronic IDs and all this kind of stuff. So we're gonna slowly move into the 21st century. What century are we in? 2000 is 21st. Yeah, we're in the 21st century. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna slowly move in that way. And today we're gonna be using our S3 true test scale, but we're gonna be linking it directly to my phone um, so that we can just import the data, hopefully a little bit easier, a little bit faster. And then we'll be throwing that into Cattle Max, which is our, which is our program, and we'll figure out our daily gains from there. So uh, we'll be playing around with the True Test Data app today. Um, I believe that's what it's called. Let me check just to make sure. It is called the Data Link. Data. Is what it is. It's a True Test Data Link. Uh, we're going to be playing around with that today and showing you guys how that works. But first, we need some cows. Uh, we need some <laughs> steers, and we need to get them over here. They are over there. Uh, just finishing up breakfast. Uh, we will bring them over and start weighing steers. Okay. All right. All right, so we're heading across the road. We are going to grab uh, our A team and our B team. If you've never seen us do this before, uh, we actually have to bring them back across the road here to weigh them because it's our only scale right now. Well, we do have a shoot across the road. We don't have a scale set up yet. So hopefully next year that's on the agenda. Get a scale done over there. It'll make our lives at least 50% easier. We won't have to run them across the road, but I think they, I think, you know, honestly, loading them up and unloading them and all this kind of stuff, it's, it's kind of interesting because they do get used to it. And uh, you pull up with the trailer and they're just like, okay, we're going for a ride and let's go do that. <laughs> Jeff is backing up the trailer and these are our five A-team steers. We actually have four B-team steers right now just because we did have one pass away. We ended up bumping one up into the A-team, uh, number 86, which is in here somewhere. And uh, that's our new... <laughs> A team member, four members of the B team, but uh, that's okay, it'll work just fine uh, for us as we get these guys moved up and loaded in. I'm actually gonna step in while Jeff is getting backed up here. There he comes right there. We are going to see if we can get these guys in and started uh, the loading process even before Jeff is backed up. But since we don't want cows on the highway, I'm gonna go ahead and close that gate. And open this one. And this one. Come on, kids. Come on, boys. Get out of the lake here. Come on. Pull your butts. I should have worn my waders. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that gate's gonna close again. The wind is not playing well with us, Jeff. No. Ah. Come on. Time. Come on. Come on, turd face. Come on. Move your butt. You're making me get all muddy here. Not a huge fan. Come on. Hey. Come on. 
Come on, poopy face. Turn around. Come on. Get in there. I think if I stay over here. Go see your friends. Go on. Like they are my friends. Go on. Come on. Hip. There we go. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Come on, boys. Hip. Get a little tight in there. <laughs> See, look at that. They just didn't like you over there. <laughs> yeah. You're so intimidating. It's like I picked the wrong, the wrong day to clean my boots. <laughs> Did you clean your boots? No. Because that's no, a rookie mistake. You never clean your boots. <laughs> that's why you have your church boots and your working boots. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and Jeff gets in the back too. No. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, watch your face. All right, we got some cows. Now we can head back across the road. And we're gonna weigh some steers, but first we gotta set up our phone really quick. And that's pretty simple. All I have to do is put in my password and uh, connect the scale to the phone. Easy. And then I get this screen, which I hope you guys can see. And it's just gonna show us our scale, exactly what our scale is doing. So we're gonna start recording weights. We're gonna record individual weights. And because we have a little bit of a breeze out here and a bunch of movement, I'm gonna zero that out. And now I'm negative something. It's kind of all over the place. It's stabilizing, weight stable, uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Technology, man. All right, let in a steer. Let's see what happens. All right, so here we have number 48. So. And this is, the, this is the B team, so these are going to be the lighter ones. Right. Okay. So I can put in a visual ID, 48, and all I have to do is hit record. It's that simple. And then out this one goes, I think. Hold on. Yeah. I can't see his tag. You are number... I can't see it here. 60, 80. Come on. Okay, now we've got all those guys entered. I can actually look at a summary. Total weight, 3,812 pounds. 
Average animal weight was 953. Lightest animal was 940. Heaviest was 962. So that's good that weight for the B team. Gives me all that right there. That's pretty cool. And there's our animals. So super simple. All right, let's bring in the A team. And we'll do this all over again. So I've got that session done. That's our four B team um, cows. Now I'm going to go back in, start a new session. Now this is session two. I hope you can see that. When we bring in these other cows, we'll start session two, and that'll give us an idea on what's going on with the A team. starts bringing these guys back in and around. This is the A team uh, that we're gonna be weighing now. We're gonna be in our next session, like I said, so we can take a look and see what exactly they weigh. Come on, big kid. Get up there. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. No, you want me to open this one too? Come all the way up. All right, all right, back up and rolling here. Number, number 30, a little bit lighter than we thought they should be. Next one, 86. This was our replacement into the A team. Number 33, record. Number nine, record. And our last one. Number 47, record. Okay, so now we look at our summary here, and, uh, oh yeah, I guess we let her out, him out. All right, Jeff, let's take a look at our summary. Total weight of all five of these animals, 5,028 pounds, puts an average 1,006 pounds, which is actually pretty light uh, from where we want them to be. Not exactly sure what that is, why that is or what that's because of, but we will figure that out um, as we take a look at these guys a little bit further. We're going to head up to the office, get these numbers punched in the computer, and take a look at our daily gain rate, and hopefully be able to tune some things in here as we continue to work with the FBN Grow Mix and our nutritionist with FBN. So let's get these guys back on the trailer, back over, and then uh, we'll start crunching some numbers. We'll do.
Jeff is actually going to take those guys back across the road and put them back where they need to be in the uh, finishing school over there, our finishing corrals. Uh, the True Test S3 scale linked up to your phone with the data link, the True, Less, True Test data link app uh, works great. It's actually really cool. I, all I have to do is just punch in a number. Uh, next step for us is going to be getting our wand to work so that we can actually just scan the RFID number that's on these cows. That's a small little button tag that basically like a UPC symbol that you see at the grocery store uh, go into those calves and, uh, and the steers and then we'll be able to link that directly to their weight as well. Obviously like I've said um, you can't you can't manage what you don't measure and that's becoming something super important to me and the ranch and everybody involved as well. So we're gonna head upstairs and uh, start managing those measurements. And here we go, uh, print off that comes straight from my phone that I'm able to start plugging in the numbers. So um, we're gonna start off with the A team here and that's who I have pulled up on the screen already and we can just start inputting their number, numbers or their weights directly into Cattle Max. Super easy, I like it a lot. Uh, put in our date. All right, and we just start out. Um, punching in the numbers. Now there's probably a way to import this, but I haven't figured that out yet. So that'll be a video somewhere down the line, I guess. our latest measurements uh, for our references just to kind of take a look and see what they did all right we're gonna create those measurements and boom we're done all right we go back into our kennel and our a team okay so now we can take a look and see exactly what's happening so uh, number nine here did gain pretty well uh, since the last weight which was back on the eighth uh, at uh, 4.5 uh, pounds per day gain. So, not horrible, 4.68. Wow, they're actually gaining weight. I, I kind of thought they'd be a little bit worse off than that. Um, yeah, 4.27, so they were gaining weight. We just didn't have enough time in there, I think is what the problem was. So, the biggest thing that we can do, yeah, 5.59, look at that. Um, what is this one? 47. That was a little bit less. 2.64. And of course, 86. Two pounds a day. So the deal with the A team is that while we did have uh, some decent gain going on there. I just don't think we had enough time for them to, get, to gain the weight that they needed to over the, over the time frame. So the B team is really what I'm worried about or what I'm looking at using for more of an example, because this, this one has actually been, the, this team has been on the FBN Girl Mix for the entire time that they've been in the feedlot. So I just kind of want to see how they're doing. So we're just going to plug in their numbers as well. 1.5, a little low. 1.1. Oh, that one's gaining pretty good, 3.9. Here's what all these numbers tell me, uh, is that the A team, we didn't have enough time. Uh, we needed we needed another month or so to get these guys up to where they needed to be, um, maybe even more. The B team seems to be pretty close on schedule, but what we're seeing is their gain is actually dropping, so that means we need to up their feed that they're getting in the feedlot. So in order to better regulate what we're doing, we're actually gonna start doing our weights, like I think kind of said at the beginning of this video, we're gonna start doing weights probably about once a week. And that will enable us to even better regulate exactly how much these guys are gaining and where, they're stay, where they need to be. So we can actually up their feed, we can lower their feed, whatever we need to be, or wherever we need to be uh, as we move. And it gives us more of a fluid movement, more of a fluid uh, management style uh, to where it's a, a, we're just kind of keeping a little 
little bit better track of what's happening every single week. The other thing that could be going on here is the fact that we have changed how we grind our food. Um, so we've kind of made a couple changes. We added the FBN Grow Mix, and we also started mixing our own feed and grinding our own feed. So when we're grinding food, obviously you're changing how that, that food is taken into the system uh, of the animal. So that's something we're going to be talking to our nutritionist at FBN about and uh, hopefully being able to regulate that even better. We'll have an update for you guys coming up in the next couple weeks. And if you're trying to do the same thing and you want to be able to raise your own steers, you want to be able to feed them out yourself, you want to be able to offer them uh, for sale directly to the consumer, good for you. Uh, and we really hope that the, these videos that we're doing here can help you along that way as well. So that's it for me today. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate it. We've got a lot more on the way from the ranch. Be sure to subscribe, follow along, hit that little bell button so you get notifications and you don't miss a thing. If you really do want to support the ranch, head on over to patreon.com slash life. You can sign up for as little as $1 per month to be a Patreon supporter. Get yourself a bunch of extras as well as the ability to order beef and pork directly from the ranch. Those of you that are Patreons, we really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Gonna make it someday. Nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. Bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million. When we're backstage, we'll play loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be. Going on stage, headline on a Saturday night. Oh, 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 oh. Saturday night. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the radio. Tommy's got brand new drums, and I still have my old guitar. And John said this next song's gonna be real good if you know what I mean. Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We're playing loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I want to be. Going on stage headline on a Saturday night. show so make sure that you don't miss out just be there oh just be there we're taking our shot bring what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we're playing loud surfing the crowd everybody's jumping around yeah that's the place where i want to be going on stage headline on a Saturday night.